from Cassandra Castle Love TV. And if that's not exciting enough, I got some great news for you. For the last 90 days, we've been telling you about our latest contest. Well, it's almost time for your truly ranks to announce the names of the seven lucky winners in the Cassandra Castle Rock TV blowout. This is the contest where Rock TV wants to send you to Europe. Spend a weekend in an authentic medieval castle with the real Cassandra Castle. Cassandra castle. Cassandra castle. Listen, there's, there's more. more. Not only do you get that weekend in Europe, but while you're inside the castle, you get to take part in treasure hunt and find a check for one million dollars. It might be you that's going to be the winner, so stay tuned to Rock TV because... You think we pay you to watch television? Huh? I can show you something you're never going to see on television, baby. Yeah? How about ten-foot flame shooting at your asshole, man? You look like you're going to be sick. I feel fine. Just fine. Well, you're going to be sick. And we Tom, are we need this job. Oh, to hell with family honor. Right, sis? Yeah. Shh. They're going to the winners. Wait a minute. I thought you said that we don't have a chance. We don't. But you hate Cassandra Castle's music. I do. But I like that kind of money. Nineteen-year-old party animal Harlan McPherson. Then from jolly old England, from London, it's a Sloan Ranger, Myrna Fairchild. From Venice, California, a twenty-one-year-old California girl, Terry Harper. From Rome, Italy, a nineteen-year-old. Okay, you little shit. You want to watch television? From Paris, you can watch it all you want. You're both fired. Summers, and I, I can't believe this, folks. From Cleveland, Ohio, two winners from the same family, Tom oh, and Jackie, Jackie McLean. Oh my goodness, they'll all be joining me and Cassandra Castle in Italy for a weekend in a million yeah. castle. And a chance at winning one million dollars. What are you gonna spend one million dollars on? Think about it and party with Jackie and me. It's going to be like you're going to have a fun. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, grazie, mille grazie. Okay. Just give me ten seconds, Rex. You got it. We're here in sunny Italy with our Rock TV contest winners. So right now, let's give you the lucky seven and welcome them to Cassandra's Castle. Myrna! Thank you so much. Uh. <laughs> Holland, oh, oh, Terry, Holland, oh, oh, Holland. Real polite, Fatso. Oh, Fatso, you California girls are so witty. Oh. Whoa! Nice car. This is cool. Hello. Ciao, come stai? I'm Tony Capri. I'm here for the million dollars. Tony, you must be our Italian winner. <laughs> yes, I am. The others are over here. Come on over and join them. Come on. Yes. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Cassandra, are you all right? <laughs> She's fine. She's, She's fine. She's not fine. You stuff me in this tiny limo with four miserable aerosol cases. <laughs> and now I've got to spend a god awful weekend in some. Think oh parcel. Watch out, Theo, you crack the lens. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's 
it's the police and I don't see Sting. Excuse me, just a little more. This Ferrari is destroyed. Jamie, no cameras. Jackie, where the hell was the limo? The plane was two hours late. Yeah, I know, but we're supposed to be picked up in a limo at the airport, okay? Do you remember what Mom used to say? What? What happens is supposed to happen. Great. What's supposed to happen is we're supposed to be riding in a limo right now with air conditioning. That's it. And our lost orphans. We're the winners from Cleveland. No such thing, kid. What are you looking at? Well, nothing. I just didn't get a chance to say hello before. Hi. <laughs> so you said it. Now piss off. So you're gonna come in the castle soon? A woman's limo is her castle. Just forget it, Tom. She's not your type. All right, kids, you can make it. All right, let's all pile into the limo and get the welcome shot. Cassandra, baby, time to take the big arrival shot. Okay. Uh, we'll pick up this one a little later, but in the meantime, let's all go inside and get settled. Later. Hey, Billy. Hey, Andy, listen. I want you guys to get hold of a high-definition camera for me, the best one you can find. I think some really interesting things are gonna happen in the dark here this weekend. I got lights. Yeah, but with an HD, we can pick up some stuff. Hey, two points apiece. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty chintzy, Jamie. Yeah? Well, it's either that or doing Merv Griffin the rest of your life. It's not going to be easy to find. We're going to have to go to Rome. Yeah. And the animal boys. Welcome, winners, to Castle Diaboli. This is one of the oldest castles in all of Italy. Cut to the chase. When do we start searching for the money? Soon. Sooner. Back, I'm not accustomed to carrying my own luggage. Oh, I hope. What do you got in here? Guns. I thought I'd get in a little shooting. Oh. Rabbits, birds, maybe a ball. Yeah, well, I'll do my best to be interesting, okay? Are supposed to be servants. Signor Diabole welcomes you. C'est très magnifique. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Of course, it's beautiful. It's French. It's 14th century, and it's worth about three million francs. I love French things. You know, uh, French fries, French toast, uh, 
French kissing? You know, like there's no mirrors here. And why do you need a mirror when I'm here to tell you how lovely you look? So I can see for myself. Uh, you're American and so romantic. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's, it looks so real. It's beautiful. Yes. Senor Diabole is quite proud of his pieces. He's, he's really generous to let us all stay here. He enjoys having guests once every now and then. Will he be with us at dinner? <laughs> he will be with you all eventually. Do you always carry an arsenal around with you? When the occasion calls for. I hate to be, like, bearer of bad tidings, but this is a fun weekend. We're supposed to party, okay? After this ridiculous weekend, I'm off on safari with Fergie and Andrew. Seven o'clock, Rock TV, is in time to boogie down with Mr. Deck. This is one creepy place. Nah, don't worry about it. Think of it as a Olympic million dollar treasure hunt. Well, just don't get your hopes up. Why not? Have you seen our competition? I see a Porsche, 959 turbo, a pool with a jacuzzi. In your Porsche. Why not? <laughs> I see a yacht, 40 foot long, my name written all over it. How about a college education with your name written all over it? Wrong. You spend your half the money your way, I've got big plans for mine. Tom, we just have to be realistic. The chances of us finding the money are two in seven. Yes, but that's one more than everybody else here. Why are you so pessimistic? I don't know. All these different people brought together in this old place. Well, you think it's a setup? No, it's just weird. Jackie, weird can be fun. Go with it. You could use some weirdness in your life. Uh, uh. I can't see a damn thing. You know, we should almost be there. We should definitely be there. Probably took a wrong road or something. There is only one road. And where's the castle? I don't know. You don't know. The car just died. Why? I don't know. You don't know. We're on some honky chase after an HD camera stuck in the middle of nowhere in a dead car, and you don't know? Let me take a look under the hood. The door's stuck. Okay. Wait a minute, my door's stuck too. We are lost in the middle of nowhere. We can't find the castle and the car won't start. What else could possibly go wrong? <laughs> no, 
not exactly the atmosphere for a pig out. Please let that be the extent of our dinner conversation. I should rather hear you slobber and chew than try to speak English. I'm anxious to meet Senor Diablo. Yeah, it must be pretty crazy to let all this go on in this house. The word is eccentric. Senor Diabole sends his regrets. He will not be joining you for dinner. Jamie, where is the bloody camera crew? I sent him to Rome to get some equipment. If you dare screw this up. Yeah, I know. Merv. Just get over there. Okay. Well, we've got a great dinner coming up. But first of all, I've got to give you the rules for the videotaping of viewers at home. Jamie, if you're ready, yeah. roll tape. How do I look, okay? Yeah, you look fine. Hey, Rock TV viewers at home, we're here with our seven lucky winners, and it's time to give them the lowdown on how to score those big bucks. Well, as you know, you've all signed a contract and agreed to abide by Rock TV's rules. Now, the conditions are very, very simple. The treasure hunt starts tomorrow morning, promptly at dawn. And in fairness to Signor Diaboli, who's been nice enough to lend us his castle, we have to tell you that the check for one million dollars has been hidden, and hidden well, but not in a place that would necessitate any digging or any tearing. In other words, there's to be no damage to any of the property here. But we can look anywhere. Yes. Yes, anywhere, except outside of the castle. You're free to leave the castle at any time. But if you do, you will be disqualified. But right now, let's start the fun. It's a rock and roll weekend, and we're going to party with everyone's favorite party girl, Cassandra Castle. I hear many interesting things about American women. Like what? That they are naive and silly and ignorant of love. That sounds like me, all right. So I will dare to tutor you in the language of love. I'm not very good at learning languages. I hate the grammar part. Excuse me. Tom! Scusi, signorina, I was intoxicated by your beauty. Tom! <clears throat> your room is this way. What? I just escaped from Italian class. What? Forget it, I'm going to bed. No, 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 wait, why waste time sleeping? This doesn't sound like you. No, I mean, we could start searching now. It's against the rules. There's only one rule to win. I'm tired, I'm going to bed. You have got to slow down. Mm. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Putting you to bed. I know the way your filthy mind works. <laughs> Stupid DJ. I'm a VJ, and the last thing I need is some manufactured superstar who can't even stay sober for her own celebrity weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What else am I supposed to do? Besides, it's my record company that's paying for this weekend. I bet there isn't even a check. Oh, there's a check. And it's a real one. Yeah, for the camera. <laughs> bet nobody finds it. Hey, that depends on them. I'll make you a deal. 
I'll hide the check somewhere. No one will find it. Hey, you're getting tricky. That could give us some very bad publicity. Not when I reveal on camera <gasps> where it is. <laughs> now that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But you've got to keep that brat pack away from me. I don't want to see them at all the whole weekend. <sighs> Your record label's not going to like this. Screw them. Is it a deal? Deal. Fifty-fifty if you find the check. What are you doing here? I'm looking for the check. What are you doing here? I'm looking for something to eat. <clears throat> Harlan, Tom, listen. If there's a check in that cake, I get half of it, okay? Hello? Who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I must have the wrong room. Maybe. Maybe not. Depends on what you're looking for. Well, you know, I thought I would take just a little look for the check before I went to bed. <laughs> now you know, Yvette, that is definitely cheating. Yes, I know. Forgive me. What do you think I should do about this? Well, you could punish me. Mm -hmm. Or you could help me. Punish me. Is that it? It is on the first floor. That is not helping. <laughs> it is. Cuts the field in half. Just don't be too obvious about it. Well, all right. I've always had this, this special passion for DJs.
Cheating, are we? Interesting decor. Nothing here but old furniture. Old furniture with 175,000 pounds. Well, yes. You know antiques. My parents collect them. My parents sell them. Well, that's the difference between us, don't you see? <laughs> but then you're French.
you okay? You okay? Hey, what's going on? Are we gonna have a party? Oh, uh, she's drunk. No. There were loads and loads of... What? Who? What are you talking about? The bloody hell's going on out here? What are you all doing? I didn't know where we can find our rooms. Listen, if anyone is found looking for the check before the contest officially starts, he or she will be disqualified. What about her? I'll take care of her. The rest of you go back to your rooms and get some sleep. We've got a big day tomorrow. Whoa, it's 7 o'clock back in Jersey. That's my bedtime. Night. I was wondering if you could help me. I was wondering that myself. My shower isn't working. Well, I'm not very good at plumbing stuff, you know? Maybe it won't take much. You had enough hours ago. I just saw... God, he won't believe me. No, I probably won't. I was in this dungeon, and there was these zombies, these giant zombies with skull faces and hands, and they yeah, were after me. I've they seen just... Lost Weekend. No, really, I saw it. I opened this door, and I went down these steps, these stone Listen, steps. Listen, that was my door. <laughs> if you can't keep it together, our deal is off. All you have to do is hang on to the check and stay out of my bloody way. No, I don't. I think you're an alcoholic. No more of this. Not until the contest is over. You're right. You're right. <laughs> no more juice. <laughs> pills. I need pills. I just need something to keep me out of it for a while. <laughs> Seems to be working fine to me. Well then, how am I gonna thank you? Well, if you find the check, you can split it with me. Oh, come on. Is that all you're here for, the money? Wouldn't you like to have a little fun? When you're right, you're right. What was the question? Would you wash my back? Wash your back? Yeah. I'll do it. I'm a full service repairman. Backwash is part of the job. Go slow. I like it better that way. What's going on? I'm done. Done what? I'm done taking a shower. What comes next? I don't know. I'll probably listen to some music, go to bed early. You know, it's going to be a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought we were going to... What? You know. Oh, sorry. I just took a shower. These must be really sick kicks you're getting from this. Really sick. Oh, my therapist says there's no such thing as sick kicks. Uh, you're a bitch, okay? Well, I said thank you. 
You know, that was really shitty to do to me. I can understand how you can have this attitude. It's very valid. It's okay. Bye-bye. I'm wet. Nothing. The worst kind of nothing. When something almost happens but doesn't, that kind of nothing. You didn't find the check? No. Jackie, let me ask you, is it me? It is me, isn't it? Get some sleep and we'll find it tomorrow together. It is live, live on tape. Mm. Hey, so where's our superstar this morning? I suppose she's sleeping at all. When do the games begin? When everybody gets here. Well, where's Yvette? <coughs> the last time I saw her, she was drooling over the antiques. <coughs> Where is America, Tony? Here I am. I like to work out before breakfast. I bet she just has tons of energy, too. <clears throat> I regret to inform you that Signor Diaboli again will be unable to join you. I'm an Italian, and I have never heard of this castle or Signor Diaboli. Yes, but you have heard of the police. The dress right? Misunderstanding. Might have been a misunderstanding for you, punk, but it cost me and it cost Rock TV a lot of money. And we have to settle that. Well, come on, what are we waiting for? Let's start this puppy. Okay, Jamie. Okay. Couple of rules to remember. The castle is filled with priceless antiques and valuables and you must not damage any of the property here. Yeah, you look good. Okay, Rock TV, here's the lucky seven. I, I just don't think it's right to start without Yvette. I found this letter when I went to call Mademoiselle for breakfast. I must leave immediately for Lyon. Family emergency, bon chance, Yvette. Okay, roll tape. Hey, Rock TV is at home. We're on location in Italy at the castle of Signor Diaboli, and what a turn of events. One of our contestants, Yvette, has had to drop out due to unforeseen family emergencies. But that's good news for our remaining lucky six because they now have a better chance at that one million dollars. And that's a lot of scratch for any high living rock and roller. Are you ready to go for it? Yeah. yeah. All right, on your marks. Get set. Wait for it. Go! I don't intend for the rest of you to benefit from my superior tracking ability, if you don't mind. I think I'm going to ask the I Ching where it is. You want to come? I always want to come. I've been having a little trouble with my shower, too. Wow. 
you upstairs or downstairs? Uh, I'll take the high road. Okay. You, America, are so right. What the hell's going on? What are you doing in here? Get the hell out of here! Hell, hell, hell. We're still speaking about paradise. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Tony Capri, women would not treat me like that. Senor Diabolo's guests must be treated with respect. Potential hiding places. They're Bibles. Well, I'll go to confession later, when I'm Catholic. We're not supposed to damage any of Signor Diaboli's property. Well, if they're all the same book, it hardly seems to matter. Yes, I'm agreeable, but now, now I'm a rich one. Give. What? What do you have just found? My contact lens? Don't play with me. No more playing games! I'm Tony Capri and I take what I want, okay? 
Okay. Okay. Fine. Ah. Just what do you want? What do you think? A check, a million dollars. I don't have it. You found it. I heard you. <laughs> Please. You've got to believe me. I found a contact lens. Oh, a contact lens, yes. And I'm sure your shovel really was broken, huh? I swear I don't have it. Okay, then I'm going to have to search you. I will be the winner. Are you okay? He was gonna kill me. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Split it with you. Forget it. I won. I just saved your life back there. The least you could do is split it with us. No way. I went for it and I won. End of discussion. Where'd it go? Having fun now. Something very strange is going on here. Whose shoe is this? The French girls, I think. Tony just attacked Terry. I'm not surprised. With a knife? It's one way to lessen the odds, isn't it? Let's go home. No. No, Jackie, the odds are shorter for us, too. Let's just stick together, OK? This place is dangerous. Just calm down for a second, OK? Look, if the other people are disqualified, or maybe even worse, they'll call it off. But until then, I'm going to keep searching. Please, Tom. Come on, Jackie. Let's just go search for the money. We're gonna find it, okay? Just don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay. <laughs>
What's the matter? What happened? Oh, nothing. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You were just yelling for help. Oh, oh, I was having trouble with my lace. You can't even dress yourself anymore. We have to shoot the big revelation scene in one hour's time. Look, meet me in the weapons room. I'll get Jamie. In the meantime, I'm going to hold on to this check. I kept my part of the deal. One bloody hour. The others may want to spend all day in musty dungeons, but I need some lunch. Yes, sir. Would you care for a pig out? That's the idea. Hey, you're all right. What's the matter, babe? I don't want to talk about it, so just leave me alone. So Mickey Mouse is suing Minnie Mouse for divorce, right? And they're in front of the judge, and the judge says, look, Mickey, you can't divorce Minnie just because she's crazy. And Mickey says, I didn't say she was crazy. I said she was fucking goofy. You've heard it before. Don't. What? I said don't talk to me! One about the three pigs that went to Rome? Two of them were arrested. You know why? <sighs> because the third one squealed! <laughs> <laughs>
is Jamie. It's not my job. I tell you, she has screwed up so many times that after this gig, I am going to see to it that she doesn't even do weddings. How did Rock TV ever find this place? We got a good deal. Yeah, with my bloody money. You know, if it wasn't for Rock TV, you just keep your bloody money. Because from now on, you are on your own. <laughs> Jackie, why didn't you tell me about the check? I want to go in time. Something is wrong here. No, oh, we're close. I can feel it. Jackie, take that side of the hall. I'll take this side down here. Please, Tom. I'll be down the hall, OK? Okay. Something I can't remember. Something horrible. Just take it easy, okay? I'm not drunk. Look, I know it's hard being a superstar and all. I don't know what I am. You know, your fans really love you. They love you a lot. <laughs> Not love. Some of them do. Terry.
interesting man, Diaboli, letting game run wild indoors. It was per human. It was hard to tell from shooting distance, actually. Had to give it a sporting chance, you know. This is crazy. Yes. Well, the servants will clean it up. Look, you better hold on to this. There might be others about. Any luck with the check yet? What? Oh, too bad. Well, I'll be off then. I'm sorry. So what? I'm taking advantage of you. Yes, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm in the music business, all right? I, people take advantage of me all the time. This, this was different, then. It was real. Yeah, but still, look, in your condition, it was wrong. I'm not drunk. I don't know what's been happening. I do know I like you. Look, I didn't kiss you just because you're who you are, you know? I don't have to explain. You overcame your fear. You made it. Where, where am I? Your room, my room, any room. Doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you won. Senor Diaboli? You bet. Is this a video or something? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's real life. Uh, real dead. Killed all of them? Yes. But from what I can see, which is everything, they deserved it. But how? Oh, an oldie but a goodie. Black magic. 
They don't make deaths like that anymore. More's the pity. Perhaps you'd like to check it out. We'll all go down together. Go down? Home. Home, you mean hell? <laughs> but Tom. Oh, don't worry, he's still alive. But it's his turn next. The check? Wait a minute, I won! I won! I just won a million dollars! You had this all the time, didn't you? I love you. Why? Because I had a million dollars. You know what this means? I am totally free of school. I don't have to work the rest of my life. You understand that? Tom, listen, you don't realize what goes along with that million dollars. Oh, I don't? I don't? Yeah, I do. I do. A Porsche, a projection TV, I get to move to California. Don't do it! Don't do what? Don't do what? Win? Why? What, are you nuts? No, I'm not nuts. And I'm not drunk. I'm Tracy Collins from Raysbury. And I've got $18 million. That almost made me nuts. That is mine! No. It owns you and it always will unless you give it up. Look, just be real careful with that check, okay? Did I look like that? Was I that pathetic? I'll make you a deal. What do you want? I'll make you a deal, Cassandra. Don't make a deal with your soul, my dear. consumed by fire. That's it. She's doomed. That's it, lady. Your history. That wasn't the deal. You broke the deal when you interfered with a test. He's a good kid. He's a loser. And he's mine. That's cheating. Cheating? Oh, do tell me about it. Isn't that the way you got what you wanted? Rock and roll star? Yeah, and you got my soul. That's it. I'll read the small print, darling. You also keep out of my way. You've got knowledge. You're dangerous. You're coming with me. No! Let her go. Let all of them go. Not only am I not letting them go, I'm going to take your little brother too. I'm not kidding. And I'm not mortal. Go ahead. Make my day. I'll make you a deal. No, save yourself. I'm all ears. You can take me, but you let Tom go. Deal. And he gets the million dollars. No problem. And Cassandra gets her soul back. But forget about me. Just take your brother and the money and run. You've got a lot of soul, little lady. It's a deal. But you've got to do something naughty to see it.
Jackie. Tom. You're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Cassandra. Look, I've got to find Cassandra. What happens is supposed to happen, remember? Here. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal now, does it? I really blew it, Jackie. Just plain Tracy now. Cassandra. What did you do? I modified the deal. I got my soul back, and everyone else gets a second chance. I traded him our contract for something completely different. He's a VJ now. Let him deal with those devils. Welcome back. I'm Cy Diavolo here on Rock TV, America's number one video music channel. channel, channel, channel. You know, it's rather extraordinary the number of times I've overheard people say, oh, I'd give anything to be a rock and roll star. star, star, star. Well, I've dreamt up this little competition which could result in just that. The winner gets it all. A five-year recording contract, a million dollars in cash, and the chance to go all the way. It's an offer you simply can't refuse. Interested? You should be. Let me tell you about it. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Again, 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 again. Yeah. 